Welcome back to the finale of Pizza Tower. Now, uh, to sort of say farewell to some things, I thought I would, I would play some mods, but they're really complicated to figure out, and there's just way too many to go through. So I figured I would go through three sort of important, so, sort of relevant to things pertaining to Pizza Tower, and I think that'd be a good way to send us off. So first starting off, we'll go with... A very important build of Pizza Tower, the Pizza Tower Sage 2019 Demo. Sage, I believe, means for uh, Sonic Amateur Games Expo or whatever. Pepino is wearing a special blue suit in this, and this is a very old build of the game from 2019. Still has some of the the personality. I'm liking it. It's interesting. It, yep, it's uh, we're going to be seeing what the game kept and what the game changed. Uh, here we are playing as Pepino Spaghetti, but this demo has Snick the Porcupine. Snick the Porcupine. He was missing in the full game, and people wondering where the hell he was. Where is Snick? Where is Snick? <laughs> oh, I love it. So uh, Pepino's trying to go to Sage, but he went to the other Sage, the Snick Amateur Game uh, Expo. Snick soft? No, he's not. He's prickly. We got cheese slime, we got the fork knight, we got the pizza box goblin, all the folks that we've seen in the in the full game, of course. Okay. I like how he's a cannon fodder, as in, you know, can, you know fodder to the to, to the plot of the story. I actually also like that they have descriptions. Yep. Pepperoni goblin, yeah, uh, poncha. That's yeah, the guy with the the, uh, the, the, yeah. the fencing sword. He's like, but angry Italian man, I'll take care a, of him. A pizza. <laughs> <laughs> A lot of the enemies work differently now, too. Ooh, okay. Okay, still had Knight and Ball. Okay. Those works. And a lot of the... Like, these work differently, too. Everything in this game works differently. Hmm. There, there were a couple of years where the game just kind of went radio silent. Very scant updates, not much a whole lot, because they were too busy revamping everything. Changing the way the stages worked, how the game played. Twerking some of the music. Tweaking some of the music. Twerking. Get that ass out. Tweaking and working on some of the music. And it turned into the beloved game that we know <laughs> today. <laughs> so, uh, secret about this game? If Pizza Tower released and it was like this, we would not be Let's Playing it. Too difficult or not good? Hmm. Not good. Okay. Still got, still got the mock dash. Things are still uh, up to par here. You know, we, you know, it's still working like that. That's a speed gauge underneath Pepino's face. Uh-huh. This is the old UI. It him. And then the change from uh, him being in the TV, which I think works a little bit better. But here's Snick. It's him. I'm the only one who came. You can still try out the games, but before starting... I suggest going down to the left to learn some important moves. It's the tutorial stage, and it still has the pizza time from Spider-Man 2, but it's, like, more so now. This feels exactly like Warrior Land 4. Down to the tutorial stage. The tutorial stage kind of had, like, you know, these, this, these small miniature rooms, and that's kind of the failings of this demo, I'd say, in this build. The, the full the full game of Pizza Tower is way more open because you're going so fast. Mm -hmm. Here it feels a lot more cramped, and so you got yet and you're going way too damn fast for a lot of this. I'm glad they changed the upper left hand or just Pepino's face in general, because seeing him roll when Pepino rolls just doesn't do it for me. And the TV just kind of seems so flat up there. Having the, the, the score be in the upper left and, uh, you know, Pepino's face and, indeed, situation in the upper right, it just works so much better. The changes they made to this game are absolutely fantastic. They were very well needed, and it, 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 it uh, turned the game from a potential 7 or 8 out of 10 to a bona fide 10. I also noticed there's a lot less effects happening, like uh, some guy being chomped to death. There aren't as many particle effects or anything like that. The animations are a little different too. There's there, like we don't have the the uppercut. I re Ooh. I relied on the uppercut so much in the main playthrough, but the fact I can't do it here hurts. There's also a momentum difference I noticed. It's, it's a momentum difference. He's so slow going up the yeah. ladder. Do you see how slow he yeah. ran doing a body it's, slam? See, th that's the thing though. It feels more like a Wario Land game. It feels more like Wario Land 4. 
and not as fast as Pizza Tower. So we've got Pizza Scape, the Ancient Cheese, okay. and the Blood Sauce Dungeon. Essentially, the first floor right here. We have Cowboy Tasks, which are uh, essentially our chef's tasks for, for this demo. Oh, okay, cool. We're not doing all that. Then we pile a shotgun, finish dungeon with a backup shotgun. That's already different. Get an S rank, get an S rank in the Snick Challenge, combo a 10. Okay. Find all the secrets. The combos are hard to get in this game. Find all the toppin', find all the treasure. We still have toppins, yeah. we still have treasure. But the levels are completely different. Was that skidding to a halt? Yeah. Okay, correct me if I'm wrong. I don't think that's in the original. No, it is. But not, like, that exaggerated. Probably not, but... I mean, yeah, you gotta skid there's, to a halt, but... Like, there's some animations here that I, that they cut just because it just, it just, it just feels time. Did you have... for, for, for time, I would assume. Still got the music, though, that's right. But it's slightly different. Ow. Whenever you get hurt, it says, oh! Does he really have a voice code for that? No, it, it, it just says that. It, it, oh! It, it, it just says we're like, like, oh! And oh, can I? So, this is, a, this is another huge difference. Getting hit by their lightning turns you into Knight Pepino. And so, the only way to get rid of it, there is no priest, is to run into a wall. Ooh, so they had to turn Knight Pepino into more of a puzzle-based uh, power-up. You still have a taunt, but I don't think you can parry. At least I haven't found a way to do it. So Knight Pepino's more of a detriment here? And I didn't see it up there, but that white thing up there? Is that a secret? That was a Toppin. I'm sorry, what? Toppins, are, toppins aren't in cages. They were in closed pizza boxes. Oh, that's confusing. Secret's still the same. It's still got, you know, the, the beat and all that. A toppin' in a pizza box just... Makes sense, kind of. I, I mean, it, but, yeah, it makes but, sense, but there are monsters that are in pizza boxes. But you yeah, you, 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 you couldn't even tell, could you? Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, the, the, the crate that they're in in the main game, it's bigger, more vibrant. It's making noise, so it's like, oh, I better go uh, figure out what that is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Secrets are much less. There's six secrets. So there's three in this, and they're much easier to find. I suppose they just get you points. There's no uh, little pizza <laughs> sonas in there or whatever. <laughs> you get pizza slices as points. They don't have the clever puzzles that uh, the the main game has. It's it's just a way different. They don't even have the rat function. The toppings look different too. Ooh, they're like all pixelated. They look like bootlegs. They don't. It just looks weird. Well, old, I, guess, I suppose, is the main term, I'd say. Yeah, they got updated. It's alright. That was a new animation of running up the wall. You didn't need Jerome. Yeah, we don't need Jerome, but you see how easy that was to see? In the original uh, Pizza Escape, you had to run up a wall a good way before you found that secret. Because the, the levels are so much... They're so compressed. Now you can see things that are still the same. Like, this is kind of relatively similar to how the main game was. You know, we go in here, the, the music changes from uh, hot spaghetti to cold spaghetti. Whoa! And some secrets, though, are kind of put in there. That was cool. Hey. Okay, well, that was lackluster. <laughs> okay, so I'm wondering where, or at what point in development, they were just like, you know what? Getting rid of the, of the night power-up by running into a wall, that's that's kind of weak sauce. Why don't we add something that the player can aim for? I think there was like a 2021 and a 2022 build. Okay, that so was, there were different That was about there. the time when they uh, started, uh, you know, coming back to everything. They, that's that's when they changed the, uh, the, uh, the levels and the music and all that, and just the overall feel. Like, this feels way different. I don't like how they, how they did it in, in, the, in, in, this, in this demo. I noticed there was, uh, there's like bumpers or something on the side of the walls so what, keeping you from scaling them. Yeah, that's a weird one. What you're supposed to do is you're supposed. Oh, this is, this is different already. Now we've got a shop a la Mylon's Hidden Castle. Mylon's Secret Castle? Yeah. So you can buy shotguns? You can buy shotguns, but they don't really matter because, you know, as we found from war, just running is, is just as easy. See, I don't like the idea of giving Pepino a gun. Like, in the original game, it was fine because it was situational. Yeah. In this, it's just like, oh yeah, this is part of his persona. He just picks up a gun and shoots a dude. I should go, oh, a gun, not, oh, a gun. Oh, a gun. It's like, oh, this is new. That's obnoxious. Yes, it is. <laughs> oh my god, that's annoying. 
And I'm assuming you have to get the key, right? Well, yeah, of course you do. I liked how how it worked in the in the main game better because uh, you could uh, you had to be knight, of course. Knight was the best way to do this because I think you had to be knight in order to get to the bottom of you know to, to the priest there. But you have to be ball form in this basically, and you would bounce off those uh, those bumpers and they would keep you going. Oh, okay. But it just flows much much better in the main game. Yeah, I noticed uh, you're actually losing momentum while trying to do the the side runs where you're supposed to be keeping your momentum. Pepino getting hurt is different. These stairs are different now, too. They now work like Wario Land 3, where you just roll down a little bit of stairs what? and you roll. Hmm. See, it's trying to be a lot more like Wario Land 4 and, and 3 in this game. And it didn't be like Pizza Tower a whole lot. Okay, yeah, that, that immediate change from... Oh, by the way, here's, uh... Here's no momentum, and then all the momentum going downstairs. That's nuts. Because in Warrior Land 3, when he does that, he can slide down those downstairs and roll like that. He, like, has his animation where he's, like, you know, where he's, like, you know, kind of sliding on his feet, and Ooh. then he starts rolling. Not, like, immediate rolling! Yeah, exactly, immediate rolling. Now it's pizza time! It's pizza time, it doesn't feel anywhere near as, you know, like, bombastic. Yeah, I, I, just, I, I see like, how that timer up there is just so there. <laughs> it's boring. We got the angry John Gutter at the bottom, and he's, you know, going towards a sleeping pizza face, which I don't even think is even here yet right now. No pizza face? Yeah, pizza, yeah no, no pizza face. Huh. The, the pizza time is a little different, too. Wait, really? Yep. Okay. I think, I think this is the version that actually uses Wario Land 4 sound bites. Trying to drive home that Wario Land 4 uh, comparison home even further. So slow! God, I hate it! Yeah, it was, yeah. Okay, we'll just go up the ladder here, just nice and slow. Okay, I'm glad they still have... Are you ready to get funky? You're all still ready to get funky, but... But, hello there! The beginning is way more clear to hear. In this version, or the... In, 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 in the this final. version. No, in this version, okay. Taunting doesn't give you any, uh, secret things, but you do have a couple of cut taunts. The Peter Griffin taunt, and the Sonic Adventure taunt. Oh, I, th I think I missed those. They were there. Rewind and see him if you if you miss it. Okay, him. okay. That's still the same. Then <laughs> <laughs> just dumps you back. So that's kind of what we're dealing with here. Okay. Smaller diet pizza tower. It just feels a little less. The environments don't feel as 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 alive, you know. Because if you look at the at, at the backgrounds in, in in the main game, they are chock full of stuff. Little faces, little stickers, dumb little doodles that he put everywhere. It's just, it just, it's just packed with so much crap. There's no secret there. You know what's missing? A that, lot. Well, I mean, besides a lot, one specific thing that just gives Pizza Tower its personality. No breakdancing. The title cards. That's true. No title cards either. The title cards add so much, but they're just not here. I can't climb this. Wall. Like, yeah, we're in the ancient cheese, but at what cost? It's a, it just feels different. Wait, there are different exits? I thought that only happened in war. Nope. It turns out that the, the door you go in from is not the same as the door you will go out from. Hmm. Don't like that change. What the hell are you trying to do? I need to... So, th th there's a puzzle here. I, I have to go up there because the door is up to the left. This thing is in the way and I can't seem to get up there, so I'm just wrecking my brain here. It's my first time doing all this. Can't and you just body slam that? Well, I'd, I'd have to get up, up high enough to do it, but... But you were. I wasn't. You're right here. That's high enough. See? Ah, all right. There you go. Ah, I see. You did and it. Then I have to and jump up there like that. that. Okay, now we're good to go. Ooh, I like that Pepino face. The corner Pepino. Oh, that's that's good. Getting hit... Yeah, it's good for now, but you'll get hit by a lot of bombs, and then that just makes things stop for several key seconds. That I'm not a fan. And when you get a bomb... <laughs> Wait! What?! When you get a bomb, it's different now. You can't just pick it up and carry it. Now you're like a, Oh God! It's a bomb! I gotta go take it to somewhere! And you immediately start running like when Wario is on fire. Oh. Yeah, probably good to leave that on the cutting room don't, floor. Don't think I like that so much. Kind of changes how... Because then you, can, you know the challenge isn't taking the bomb over there. It's now just reacting to where Pepino needs to go in order to take the bomb there. And it's usually yeah. just bottlenecking him down down a, a, a tunnel or a hole to where he needs to go. 
It amazes me on how the Toffins look so pixelated and digital when everything else is hand drawn. They just look so plain. I, like I don't know if they're placeholders or not, but it just they just look kind of. I don't know. Doing what they did in the main game is, is just perfect. And he just has a shotgun now. He just has, okay. has a shotgun. Missed that topping right there. Because they're so... Did, did, did you see it? It's right oh, there. Oh, no, I missed that entirely. Oh, I like that the goblins can blow themselves up. See, I think that there's like... like there, There's a crate in the main game. They got little, little eyes. They, they say, help, help. They make little noises. And you, know, you, you gotta... Oh, I, got, I gotta go get that thing. That face just reminds me of, like, Diary of a Wimpy Kid or something like that. <laughs> uh, see, now I gotta get a bomb down here, and I can't really run up because the running up the walls isn't as smooth as it is in the main game. It's just not how it is in the main game! Now you got me curious on what those other demos did. Were you able oh, to just... Oh, even, like, like bumping enemies is different, because you see a way he just kind of like jumped up there? Were you able to get this pretty easily? Like, is it on the creator's website? Uh, most of the, uh, I think this build was a public build, but a lot of the builds that you normally get are Patreon builds. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And I think because the game's out, most of them are free to get on the wiki. Okay. But this was the most significant demo, because it has, like, you know, the most lore. It's a, it was the first real public way of, to experience Pizza Tower. And it's interesting to see how much the game changed from then to now. Because I, I think there's something called a hard a -ween, uh, d uh, demo. Which is like an older version of uh, Pizza Escape and a couple other, uh, couple other levels, acting like it does now with the new UI and all that. I I kind of love the fact that the pizzards, they they give you a power up that immediately kills them. <laughs> so that's probably why that all changed. It, it it ruined flow. The priest mechanic, while confusing at first, makes sense in context now. That shot radius is amazing. I don't get how coins work. You just kind of get them. Yeah, I was seeing that too. Is it based on score? I, I, I think you just you just find them per level, then you use them to build, to buy shotguns. But like, what's the point? Hi, John Gutter. What's up, man? Well, oh, I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, okay. You got enough for rank B. I liked it better when the game just suddenly went bring, and I saw it change and colors saw it on the screen. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm doing good. I got a C rank now. I'm ready. A lot more th extra smaller details are conveyed a lot better in the final version. Yes. Like, you don't need extra effort to put text on screen saying, you're good enough for a B-Reg. It's just like, oh yeah, I see it. Ah, okay, momentum time. Okay, step, step, step. And, and pizza time. every time. It's a <laughs> I just realized John Gutter's face is a little off. See, but see, see the, the, the screen didn't flash, it didn't like, you know, like, it didn't feel like the energy in the room changes. It says, okay, time to go. <laughs> not that I could carry that up the hole, but if they wanted me to do that, I guess not. You go mock speed a lot quicker, I noticed. Yeah. Which doesn't make sense because the levels are a lot more claustrophobic. So you go faster in a game where you can't go as fast for as long. A little bit of balancing needed to happen. I am glad this was a demo. I am glad they went back and fixed what they did because it, the, the the changes they made are impeccable. They, they were vital, I'd say. Because then you get moments like this, like, oh, here's a part of the stage that's just in John Gutter blocks. It's yeah, a little huh, a little weak, a little weak sauce, I think. Yeah. I don't like getting hit by bombs all the time. I like getting hit better in the in the main game where I just like you know jump back really far in a huge arc and then I'm back at it. But here I gotta like you know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm launched back, then I gotta, like, land for a bit, then I gotta wince. It's just not as... That doesn't feel as smooth. It feels like the jump between Wario Land 2 to Wario Land 3. This, uh... I, if I had to guess, there was a lot of really good feedback that was taken into consideration, and that's why you put out multiple demos for your game. One thing I do like is that you notice that the screen is kind of melting, get a little get a little warpy, it's kind of blurry a little bit. That's an effect of it being pizza time, I suppose. It's just a neat little uh, Game Boy Advance leftover effect, again, to drive on the point that this is Wario Land 4! You get it? It's Wario Land 4! I don't get it. It's Wario Land 4! I don't get it, never it's played Wario it. Land 4! I never played it. It's Wario Land 4! Oh. I did not get any secrets? That feels wrong.
All right, last one is Blood Sauce Dungeon. I'm gonna I'm gonna cut a bit of this because yeah, we kind of understand how this game's running by now. And the thing about this level is that it's literally just go down and then come back up. Come all the way back up. Just like just like the original level. Just slightly different, you know. Uh, the, the layout is different, but the the the, uh, the music's about the same, and uh, the general gist of how it's supposed to work is about the same too. I wonder when Pizza Face came into the development. Maybe he was already here, but not, like, relevant to this demo. No, possibly. Probably in the background. Just like, hey, check out my game. I don't, that I, animation took forever in Pizza Tower time. Yeah, I, I uh, <laughs> while it's cute that, ha ha, he burned his butt like, like, like a dummy. Uh, the, the, the fact that it, he, he does that every time he takes damage from getting burned. Oh, it's so slow. Oh, I don't like getting hurt in this game. What? Uh, what? You why is there a pizza tower? Why, why is there a pizza car right in front of him? All right. So here's how the level works. Again, you got you got to go down to there. You get get ah, get, get John ah. to burn, burn the butt. But. The the, the uh, sound effects are different too. Like uh, whenever you run in, you, you, you're running towards enemies and they make a ah sound in the main game. Well, they got different sounds here. One of which is uh, one of the sounds from oh. that. Uh, oh, what's what's that guy screaming? You the one that goes like ah, ah! <laughs> that that part. <laughs> Which is, which is, you know, funny at first, but then it gets kind of, like, alarming and concerning after a while. I don't like how they did this part. They, they, they want me to run up the, the walls, but it doesn't, like, work the best. Because it's not the smoothest. Like, oh, oh, Wait, oh, oh. what? I was about to say, good job shine sparking, what dude, a, what, but you what, found a secret. What a dumb secret. These secrets... Oh, you just go straight up? These secrets stink! I would have loved if it just took you the rest of the way up. That would have been so cool. I just... I can't run up Where's the way I normally do. Where's your momentum? Come, Come on, on, man. I need momentum to climb up the step to, to, to run up the wall now. So you're telling me that you can't climb walls normally? It it, it doesn't feel like it. Huh. Weird. Well, the changes they made are just, just fantastic. You said this was 2019. It's 2019. So four years later, the uh, final product would come out. This actually isn't. Isn't looking too bad, or too far from the, uh... Oh, do not get me the, wrong. They, the they, ending. They set apart a great foundation <gasps> for an app for a fantastic game. You had to burn yourself to get up to the next level? That's what it, uh, maybe not, but that's what it felt like. Hmm. See, the, the levels are kind of confusing. Again, if, if, if this was how Pizza Tower actually was, it would not be on the channel. It would just be, you know, a neat little 7 or 8 out of 10. You know, oh, this is neat. This is cool. Maybe it'll appear as like a one-shot one of these days. You know, it's a yeah, really cool animation. But then they made it as good as it was, and now it's one of the games of the year by far. Yeah, I I also noticed none of your friends are pointing where to go in a level this confusing. Don't even have any friends. Yeah, you don't have friends. Well, Nato and Mr. Stick aren't even here. Great animation. That took actually two just, seconds. Gustavo, why did I say Ronaldo? I don't know. Think of a different Ronaldo. Oh yeah, my best friend Brooke. You know, See, that riff feels different too. Listen. Oh yeah, it is. Just, just, just slightly different. I, I, I can't get Perry to work. The way the en enemies bounce off of you is, is different than how it's in the main game. Where's that guy going? He's, I don't know where he's going. You know, I kind of like the melting aesthetic in back. Yeah. That's kind of fun. Yeah, right? It's not bad. But what was bad was this. Uh, oh. That was bad. Well, that's all right. Our first C rank! Yay! Do you lose points for getting hurt? Oh, yeah. Oh, and that happened in the original game. What am I talking about? Now we've unlocked the Snick Challenge. Run fast? It's essentially all three levels in one run. In one run in ten minutes, except now we have Snick chasing after you. Oh, that's it. That that's it. There's a special song playing in the background. It that that's all this is. I'm just gonna skip ahead because all it is is just the same levels again with pizza time uh, cut out, and now we got Snick here who does damage every time he touches you. It is. Obnoxious. Well, it's a challenge, mate. So I'll skip that challenge. I go right to near the end here. Yeah, how's that? That's fine. Because the music kind of takes a a weird turn when it gets down to the, like the last wire. It tells you, hey, you should keep moving. 
Oh, you have to stop at every block you body slam? Oh, so slow. I get back to running. See, this right here, this entire demo, this is the mid-pizza that Pizza Face was trying to peddle. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> This is before they change their their recipe and actually start using spices and like real cheese and and you know actual marinara sauce instead of just salsa. Yeah, yeah, M marinara sauce actually has like you know tomatoes in it mm -hmm. instead of the uh... <laughs> instead of just like mm, mix a little blood in there, you know, a little bit of blood marinara. Oh, here we go. Oh, yeah, I heard him a lot. I'm sorry. Yeah, I didn't like that face that was in the corner. That's some creepy pasta shit. That, that that face appears in the main game if you hurt him like what eighty times or what eighty <laughs> times. <laughs> oh, he's got a whole bunch of faces for hurting him for different amounts of, 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 of times. See, I, I I never got to see those because you were too good at it, and apparently I'm too good at it too. I, I hate you have to get momentum to climb up walls. That's not. It feels wrong. Is that it? Oh. Hey, it's it. Yeah, that's it. Okay. What's up, Snake? That's a nice D rank right there. Oh, that's a rank. That's a bouquet. Here you go, here's some flowers. So that's essentially the, the demo. You can play as long as you want, try and get an S rank, try and get all the, the cowboy tasks. So you do all the cowboy tasks, you get a cowboy hat. Oh, cool. But also, Ooh. you can play <laughs> as Snick. You can play as Snick. <laughs> His momentum works a little differently. You can like, you know, like hold in, hold him in place. It's He's it. got his own taunts and everything. Okay, that's pretty great. So you can play all the all the uh, all the stages as 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 Snick. You can even do the Snick challenge as Snick. Is Pepino after you? That'd be pretty funny. Uh, Where is he? Eh? Come on. Oh, have, nope. Oh, it's, it's just, it's just Snick. Snick. All right. That is very Ren and Stimpy. <laughs> all right. Well, that's that's pretty much the demo. It's, it's glad it's good to know and you'll be glad to hear that pizza tower went on a great big glow up after this and just got even better but uh there's a couple more things i want to talk about before before we end things so uh next i want to talk about i want to look at a game that uh i suppose is a fan game of pizza tower made solely out of love for free on itch.io just a an alternate take on pizza tower though Pizza Tower is all things pizza. This game is all things sweet. <gasps> this is Sugary Spire. It's a noise game. It's they literally just did a mirror alternate dimension version of Pizza Tower, and this is the demo. Huh. It looks official enough. Oh my god. This <laughs> This build is from 2022, so it kind of has those older builds look, but you can see how much has changed from the demo from 2019. We got, we got the, oh, we got uh, the uppercut. We got some of the movesets that Pepino has in later builds. We've got the TV in the upper right. We've got our little demo, of course, but everything's all like chocolate and cakes and candies and all that. So wait, you said this was a fan game or? This is entirely a fan game. Oh. Things work a little different, but it kind of works the same. This I also felt like kind of, you know, encapsulates the the modding scene. The modding scene is a whole bunch of fan content. People are making their own levels, their own characters, their own UIs, their own gameplay levels, their own their own gameplay moods, mechanics, whatever. In any in many 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 ways that they're changing the game. And this I think just kind of represents all that. They went ahead and made their own little fan game. This is impressive. So we'll give we'll give it a look. We'll see what uh, we'll see what they have and see what they don't. This obviously isn't like you know like the proper build of the uh, 2023 release. Still got the. Uh, Pizza Tower, Pizza Time kind of esque thing. What the hell? The gameplay feels nice. Feels uh, nice and smooth. It's all, it's all, uh, it's it's very well done. So we got uh, four levels here. We're only gonna be looking at the first one though. Got the entryway. We got Cotton Town. We got Molasses Swamp, and one more level on a boss stage up there. Yes, in this in this game, uh, Pepino is the main bad guy in this one. That's pretty funny. But let's look at the intro here and see how an actual uh, level of this works. God, custom animations, custom background stages. Look custom, at all this. Custom music, custom sound effects, custom UI. Oh my gosh! They went they went all out on this. 
Fantastic. Good job, fan fandom. I, uh, you are going so fast. I, 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 I don't have any names attached. I didn't really uh, see who like specifically made this. But what I do have is a link to the itch.io in the description down there. Oh, cool. Whee. <laughs> and this is uh, pretty it's, it's pretty active. I know this build is from 2022. It's an outdated demo, so they say. Probably because of the changes to the UI and uh, some control changes as well. But uh, it was a demo from... Uh, I think they updated it like, what, a week ago almost or so? Oh my god. So it's, it's still recent, it's still active. But uh, it's, it's worth keeping a look on if you, if you finish Pizza Tower and you, and you want some dessert. One of the toppings is a toasted mar uh, marshmallow. I love it. They, uh, they, no. they don't look like the old uh, marsh the uh, old uh, toppings from the demo. They got their own faces now, so I think that changed from build to build. The backgrounds look a lot more detailed than they did in the in, in the old build. I will say though, if I'm gonna offer just a little bit of criticism, I know this isn't outside. It, you know, this is this is a thing old on. demo, yeah. Yes. Uh, this kind of looks like a factory type stage, and that being very early on in the game. But again, it's a demo, so um, take everything I say with a grain of salt. It, I'm sure it's all about uh, just first impressions. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got juice boxes and pizza boxes now. Okay, that that's pretty great. Yeah, I wonder how long it took to mimic the MS Paint style. Because there are so many frames to Pepino's animations through MS Paint. That had to have been a nightmare. If you have a basis, though, that's half the work taken care of, almost. That's true, that's true. Yeah, because those are the... The pizza slime monsters, you got the blocks and everything. But so some of these are basically just reworks? Maybe paint over them? Maybe some, some reworks. Uh, the way that this uh, the scooter works is a little different. Like the way you climb walls is different. It's just some minor differences. Again, maybe they've been ironed out or changed significantly in, in whatever new build they have coming up next. Very careful. Each... Oh! Hey, Sugar, Rush! Sugar Rush! Sugar Rush! But, uh, you see how the levels are a lot, like, longer now? A little bit, yeah. They're, they're, they're expanded, not like, not like the demo, where it was all, like, you know, right, right, right. kind, of, kind of compressed, very Warrior land -esque style. Now it feels, this feels like a Pizza Tower game. This don't feel like a Warrior Land game. It, it feels like that this is a Pizza Tower game. A Pizza Tower genre game. If ever there, if ever there was one. Wait, so you said this came out in 2022. That was before Pizza Tower actually came out. Yep. That's why I say this is based on one of the newer builds. The, the the harder ween Patreon. I see. Builds. Okay. I, sorry, I kind of had the the narrative mixed up. So a fan saw the original Pizza Tower demo or some of the updated demos and then made their own. This, yeah, I, I think this has the blessing of the original creator too. Oh, okay. So cool. I'm sure this is uh, some of the Patreon folks just saying, "Hey, let's make our own we thing." We made cause, a thing because we fucking love it so much. We're gonna make a make a sugary thing because you know pizza's good and all that, but some people can't have pizza. I can't wait until we get to the dipping sticks. <laughs> Get some of that, uh, some of that frosting. Yeah. Who knows? Maybe it could be a little bit more wholesome too. I think the screen melting is still there. Yeah, I'm noticing that the entire background changed when you hit the giant gummy bear, which is very nice. See, that's what you need. The the, the whole scene should change when it's pizza time, or sugar rush, or whatever. Sugar rush. When it's when it's escape time. I can't feel my face. Too much sugar. <laughs> oh. Some minor movement tech issues, but that's just yeah, that, that, that'll get fixed by just playing the game, I'm sure. This is fun, I like this. Yeah, it's not bad, it's not bad. Very solid, very, very good. The taunts sounds are different too. <laughs> <laughs> I, I kind of love the noises face of ah! yeah! Yeah! <laughs> I think his name's Peppermint. Peppermint. Oh, that's a nice name. So oh. that's that sugary spire. That's all I'm gonna look at for now. Um, like, again, the demo is in the uh, is in the description if you want to look at this yourself. But we've also got a whole bunch of palettes. See which one take what you fancy. You got old school. You got zombified. Oh, you got it all. I love that black and white one. That's oh. so fun. I'll be the golden boy. Now we're dipped in gold flakes or graham cracker crumbs. Golden grams. Yeah. Yeah. Golden grams. 
See, I think that uh, that scooter move where you run up the wall like that, I think that's unique to Sugar Respire. Yeah, that that's some good tech. Okay, there's that, and then the boss. That has to be the boss, so, uh, yeah. Check it out. What else we got? All right, we got one more thing, which is probably not too relevant, but uh, I still want to talk about it. So here we go. Next up, back now back in the earlier days of Pizza Tower, uh, Pizza Tower and Anton Ball had a bit of a crossover. Summit! And now the follow-up to that is a game called Anton Blast. Whereas Pizza Tower was trying to be kind of like Wario Land 4, but also have its own identity, Anton Blast here is strictly 100% underlined three times, bold letters, Wario Land 4. From the graphics to the way oh, it plays, to everything. It's all Game Boy Advance Wario Land 4. I've seen this character. I had no idea what it was. This is what it is. Oh my God. Play this on Steam for free. He's working on the game right now. Can't wait to see how it goes. So here's how it works. It's, oh my God, that is so Wario. This has a, more of the compressed levels, kind of like, uh, you know, the old Pizza Tower in, in the Warrior Land 4, but he's got, you know, strength and power to make up for it. The gameplay kind of changes. You kind of mash the button, you can use that to use your hammer to go faster and to do all these... You can do some crazy stunts if you know how to do it. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not very good Man, at it, Man, that perspective is so cool. You do not have infinite health in this one, though, because it's like Warrior Land 4. You have health. Oh. I didn't know there was health in Wario Land 4. Huh. You're, you, you play Wario Land Shake It, right? Yeah, that's Wario Land 5. Yeah, but that didn't have health. That had health. It, like, you couldn't die. You could die and shake it. No, you couldn't. You sure you could. I, I, remember, I specifically remember having health. Maybe health was an option in, it, in certain parts. You were of playing it. hard, Bo! That might, that might be it. <laughs> But this is specifically Game Boy Advance Wario Land 4 aesthetic. I enjoy this aesthetic. I was always a big fan of the GBA. Don't mind era. me trying to figure out how to play the game because I'm still trying to unlearn Pizza Tower. Right? Double jump. I gotta, I gotta learn Anton there we Blast go, there now. We go. Yeah. Yeah. That, that right there, that pseudo 3D right there is so GBA and so, also so Genesis. So, uh. This game is like 90% uh, Warrior Land 4, obviously, but it's also two other games, I'd say. Uh, from from the crate bashing and the font styles and the green crates, I would say it's a bit of Crash Bandicoot as well. But we also got a little bit of Game Boy, uh, or Virtual Boy Warrior Land as well. Oh my god! Bringing that shit back! Holy crap! So I am all for this. So this game has got aesthetic cranked up to a 10. It knows exactly what it wants to do and what it wants to be. I love it so much. Still got your combo up there a la Pizza Tower, so you still got that uh, kind of a uh, kind of a comparison. And you said this had the Pizza Tower creator's blessing or whatever or this is just what it's compared to. There, there was a uh, the previous game in this I guess Anton series was called Anton Ball, which looked a little less crazy, it had a bit more of I think like an NES kind of aesthetic to it. Mm -hmm. This is a follow-up to that, I suppose, called Anton Blast, and he's, he, it, it's, a, it's a demo on Steam right now. Okay. What is the game that recently came out where Pepino and the Noise were official characters? Uh, There's like a fighting game out where... Rivals of Ether or something? Yeah, that's it! Were they official characters or were they modded in? Nope, official. Oh, wow. It had, uh... Yeah, the creator was just like, oh yeah, here you go. Use a little bit of uh, conveyance in this game, though. Kind of hard to tell where to go now. I went over here and broke all the blocks. What, like, what now? Probably just go back. I just jump mm -hmm. back over here. I mean, I came out that door, so I guess I could just jump Boing. over here. All right, that works. Hello. Watch spin. God, that giant hammer. <laughs> You're about to die. I am indeed about to die. Can you please not? I'd, 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 I'd like to not, but getting health back is uh, different in this game. It's a little bit like Mario 2. <laughs> See those grass bits there? Yeah. That's supposed to give you health and items. Oh. Oh. Are those giant tomatoes as health? Maybe? Uh, <laughs> Maybe they're radishes, I don't know. Everything has a mad face. <laughs> so look at the guy. He doesn't look... <laughs> Look how bad he is! There's, I mean, oh, Pepino man. is like Wario in one way, but Anton is like Wario in, you know, many others. There is certainly 
a lot happening map-wise. Like, I have no idea where you are in comparison to where you began. It's it's a little disorienting. I, I have to admit, it is very disorienting. Like, where the hell do you go now? Oh, this is where we were, I think. Yep. That could maybe change with some updates or, uh, you know, some uh, gameplay changes. Some stage, uh... uh Enhancements I, I, or... I guess, uh... Cleaning? Not cleaning. But a little tidying so. up. Re refinement! There we refinement. go! That's a good word. That's the word. Refinement! That's what that's what this needs to be, to be absolutely perfect. A little bit of refinement. A little, maybe like an arrow. Maybe like, you know, someone saying, hey, go this way. Maybe a bit of, uh, you know, idea of where to go next. Because it feels just like I'm just I'm just going places and like I, I don't know if it's the right way or not, but I, I think it's working. I found a spirit. Okay. Hey, so, buddy. Yeah, I, I guess the way this game works is that uh, Anton uh, has like spirits or whatever, and all of his spirits were stolen by literally Satan. I'm sorry. What? Yeah, literally Satan stole uh, Anton's spirits or he, like won them off. And... Hi, my name is literally Satan. First name literally, last name Satan. How's it going? There's lore to this game, I'm sure. Uh, You're collecting suits, I noticed. I think that, I mean, yeah, also poker chips, so whenever you collect them, it makes like a slot machine noise. Huh. Maybe that's part of the Anton Ball aesthetic. I haven't played Anton Ball. I mean, the advanced Anton lore I'm understanding from here. It's so deep, man. So you get in. That's helpful. I didn't know how to get. Whoa, 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 oh, whoa, whoa! My God, senseless destruction. The happy hour. It's happy hour. That's what we got in this. It's, it's not pizza time. It's not sugar rush. Yeah. <laughs> it's bad luck. <laughs> like I got hit, and I'm still there. Yeah, you're still there. It's a little bug. It's okay. All right, so that counts as a checkpoint, thankfully. I don't know if that's gonna be like that in the main game, because it's not like that in Wario Land 4. You die in the game, you die for real. I mean, you just... You, you, yep, you die in real life. <laughs> Wario comes out of your Game Boy Advance screen and kills you. I've never seen that movie, Stay Alive. No. That's the that's movie where the tagline is, is, is essentially, you die in the game, you die for real. I thought that was Gamer. Oh, no. With Gerard that's, Butler. That's, 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 <laughs> That's not even like, that's not even really gaming. You're just, it, it just have human puppets. It's like, what if the people in World of Warcraft were real people? What if your dudes in Counter-Strike were actually people? It's so <laughs> dumb. But here, if Wario comes out of my Game Boy Advance screen, I'm calling an exorcist. I'd rather watch uh, Pepino Anton Rule 34 than that fucking movie. <laughs> and you know it exists. If it, if it isn't, I'll be right back. <laughs> Oh my god, the final suit! Yes! Alright, now get out of here! Got three minutes to get out of here! Eat, 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 eat! eat. Ooh, I like those enemies. They're fun. I just found out that mashing the attack button is how you, like, run with your hammer like that. Do the charge. Ooh! Okay. If every- Oh, well, 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 alright, alright, all right. Yep, yep, we're doing it, we're doing it. I just got blimped. Ow! Hey, do when that happens, bro. If every stage has something of that nature, like a giant blimp chasing after you, after you yourself went that route, that's fun. Is that a secret? Uh, kind of. Hey. Oh, there, there we go. Oh, just a so that, that's, tomato that, heart. That's how you get health. But that, I assume, is one of the secrets because Warrior Land Four had, of course, the four required things you had to find in the level, and of course, a secret disc. This game, I think, has, like, three secret discs. Cool. Going above and beyond for the new generation. See, look, the way he just slid down there. He, he, had, he had this animation of winding up before he rolled down into balls. Oh, there's one there's of the secret the disc. discs. Damn it. It's fine. It's just a demo. <laughs> just run straight into it. I'm gonna die if I get hit once more. Can you please not? I don't want to. I think I do it because I because I because I like it. Doing it for the funnies. I understand, Mr. Funny Guy. You hurt me at time. All right, let's go this way. No, 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 no. Let's go this way. This way over there to that place. True there. There you go. Still good. Still good. Still good. Don't panic. Don't panic. Just because there's that. Mm, yeah, that font. I'm just realizing that font there. It's a good font. What font? The, uh... The, uh, number. The timer font? Yeah, the timer font. That is 
actually just the timer from Wario Land 4. It's all Wario Land 4! Here we go! Yeah! And we, we escape in time and the all whole right. place blows up! Well done! <laughs> this this screen reminds me of Wario Land 4. <laughs> it's so cramped in here! You can see his hands still- <laughs> Never mind. Well, that was Anton Blast, and evidently, that was Pizza Tower. I'm so glad that uh, we could- Probably adjacent. Glad we could do all this. This is a- this is a fun ride, and, uh, well... What do we do now? Hmm... Well... There was this one game that came out last year, I think? It's been pretty popular since then. So, uh, yeah, uh, you know Middle Earth, right? Yeah, I know Middle Earth. And you know, like, regular Earth, right? Mm hmm But, uh, you see, this Earth kind of stinks because it's too hot and uh, it's, it's too mean. Mm -hmm. And Middle Earth is a bit too, like, you know, archaic for me. So I wonder if there's, like, a middle ground. Like, I'm wondering maybe we could go to, like, some kind of... If, if there's, like, a land between... Land in between? Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 